Zip is a name that makes ears prick up amongst our friends over at GCN, but it doesn't necessarily have the same effect in the mountain biking world. However, as you can see, things are about to change. Zip has sent us a set of their 30 Moto wheels to take a look at and make a video and tell you all about the cool tech involved in them. And I've got to say, there's some serious tech here, some stuff that other brands aren't really touching on yet. Okay, so first up, let's have a bit of an overview of these pretty special wheels, and then we'll delve into each part of them in a bit more detail. Now, as you can probably see, they're made from carbon fiber, and as you also might notice, they have quite a unique profile to them. Also, the name is gonna make you ponder too, 30 Moto. Unlike many of the other carbon rims on the market, these have quite a different shape. Now, you'll probably notice that all the usual suspects tend to have quite a deep profile to them and ergo they use slightly shorter spokes and you get a very stiff wheel. Now these have quite a flat rim design. The spokes, although you won't really notice that, the spokes are slightly longer per wheel size. And the reason for this is they don't have a typical rim construction. Now the thing that makes deep sections and other format rims the size that they are is because they have a twin skin design or twin wall design, often known as a box section design. Now we'll get into that in a minute, but these do not have that. These have a single wall design much more like motocross rims, ergo the moto reference. Now rims with a single wall design have been seen in mountain biking before, but typically they were quite cheap and quite heavy. Now the way to make a wheel strong, light, stiff, and all the rest of it is typically by using one of those box section designs with the twin skin or the twin wall design. Now the idea is you have less material on those walls, but because it's a structure, it makes them very stiff, very rigid, very strong, and also very light. Kind of in the same way to get oversized aluminium tubing, you've got the, the wall thickness is very thin so it increases the rigidity but also takes the weight down. Now Zip get around this issue by making the rims from carbon fibre so there's no issue with the weight there. And this also allows them to have built in another secret weapon. Zip is a company entirely based on innovation and aerodynamics in cycling. Everything they do is supposed to make the rider go faster and have a better experience doing it. When they first arrived on the scene in 1988, the first product was a rear disc wheel, an aerodynamic disc wheel called the Predator. Once they sold 100 of these, they renamed it to the 1100 or the 1100. Following that, in 1989 came a tri-spoke wheel, which they referred to as the Eliminator. And yep, you guessed it, after they'd sold a bunch of those, they referred to it as the 3000. Over the years, they then focused on deep section rims, which kind of offered the best of both worlds when it came to full disc wheels and tri-spoke wheels, except in a slightly different format. And the aim of these was to cut through the air as fast as possible, giving all road cyclists and time trialists the ultimate aerodynamic advantage. In 1994, they actually got a little bit involved in mountain biking and dabbled with the front hub known as the Zip 145 MTB front hub. And then by 1997, they brought out the 515 rim to go along with that. But really, after that, they kind of paused their mountain bike development to really pursue and chase the world's fastest rims. Much like their aerodynamic boundary layer control textured dimpled rims. Now the idea behind these was to actually cut through the air even faster by having air cling to the rim design, kind of like a golf ball flying through the air. But that is some serious road bike technology. So let's get back to this brand new mountain bike technology. Now something that's really important to say about this wheel set is it's exactly that, it's a wheel set. Everything here has been designed to work harmoniously together. And the two major things about this is designed to offer lateral stiffness and a bit of radial compliance at the same time. I'm gonna tell you how that works. Right, now let's take a look at the rims themselves. Now they're made from a uni-stitched carbon weave, and of course it uses that single wall construction on them. And they're also asymmetrical too, so they build a very, very strong wheel. They're available in both 27.5 and 29 inch versions currently, and they're both the same rim width. That's 30 millimeters internally and 37.5 on the outside. That is the sizing the Zip have found works the best for the application they are designed for, which is hard trail riding and aggressive enduro racing. 
Now the 3.0 motor wheels are supplied, they're taped ready for tubeless, they also have a tubeless valve and as you might notice here, this little flashing thing is a tyre whiz which is part of the wheel system. We'll get to that separately though. Now the single wall design allows Zip's Moto technology to come into place here. This is the ankle compliance that I referred to earlier on. Now if you've ever damaged the sidewall of a rim, maybe you've creased one or you've cracked one when you've been riding hard in rocky terrain, let's just say for example, you might notice that it typically tends to happen just on the one side. Now this is a result really of A, aggressive riding and B, the rim being very stiff at this point and basically if a rim is that stiff at that point it's going to crack or it's going to have to deform to get around it. Now the whole point of the ankle compliance is to follow or mimic what an ankle would do when you're walking on terrain to allow it to track that terrain. Now with these if you hit something that hard on the terrain that it needs to do that this basically can deform much like an ankle flex. The sides of the rim can move around the spoke head as it needs to. However, with this ankle flex, you might have some alarm bells ringing, thinking, oh, they're gonna feel a bit vague, they're gonna feel a bit, a bit soft, a bit baggy. Not at all. Laterally, they are very stiff. They're as stiff as anything else out there, in fact, which means when you're pushing them really hard into those little pocket turns where you wanna ricochet out and down the trail, they'll do exactly that. What it does mean is that radial flex does allow them to almost weave their way through the real rocky stuff without deflecting you off course and without the rim suffering at the expenses of that. Because of the way these rims are designed, Zip say there's a whole number of benefits to it. Now the first one is they've got a much higher impact resistance. You think if something's so rigid at some point you're gonna, basically you're gonna crack it, it's just the nature of that. So by allowing that ankle compliance in there, you are reducing the chance of that happening. As another upside, it's also reducing the chance of getting a pinch flat. Now a pinch flat typically happens whether it's on an inner tube or a tubeless tire where that tire gets squashed between the rim and the object. If the rim is allowed to move slightly it's decreasing the pressure that's going into the sidewall so that is a definite upside. You're going to get more traction in rough turns. As the rim can allow to flex around slightly the tire is more likely to stay on track than basically get skipped around during a turn as can happen with some of the more stiffer rim designs out there. Needless to say, it's gonna have a much smoother ride when it comes to very rocky terrain. You're gonna be able to run lower tire pressures, the correct tire pressures, something in fact that the tire whiz helps you with. And finally, there's reduced rider fatigue. Now, if you just imagine riding an immensely stiff set of wheels, granted, you might love how they feel when you're accelerating, but when you go firing into a rock garden, you're gonna know about it. It's gonna be nearly impossible to stay completely online because the wheels are gonna to wanna to bounce off stuff. And all of those shocks get transmitted through the bike and through the bars to your hands. And having a, a wheel set that allows them to sort of flex and morph as you travel through terrain like that, reducing that fatigue to your hands, it's gotta be a good thing. Now, although you can buy the zip rims as separate things and lace them up yourself on your desired hubs with your desired spokes, really the strength of this is as a wheel package. Now, they're available in 27.5 and 29 inch wheel options, and they're based around zip hubs. Now, they're 32 hole hubs, known as the ZM1s. The three zero motor rims are laced on Sapim D Light spokes. Sapim, of course, are a very high end brand of spokes. They're laced in a three cross pattern at the optimum tension to avoid what Zip referred to as torsional wind up. Now this, if you don't know, is a phenomenon where basically the spokes flex and all of that power and torque you put into the wheel basically robs you of some of that power, which should be transferred into forward propulsion. You don't get that with these. Now they're XD driver body compatible, as you can see there. They have a six bolt rotor design on them and they have a 52 point engagement with 6.9 degrees between each one. Sounds nice, eh? Now tire pressure is something often ignored by riders. Many people I know just chuck in 30 pounds into their tires and go and hit the trails. Granted, you can have great fun on a bike with 30 pounds in a set of tires. However, the adjustments you make to tire pressure significantly change how your bike handles. It can get the best out of a tire and it can enhance the grip that you have on a trail. You can get more braking power and control down onto the trail and you can go faster as well with less fatigue in your hands and transmit it through to your feet. Really, even a two PSI adjustment can make a day and night difference to how your bike handles. Now this is why the tire whiz is such a cool device. Now tire whiz is something that has existed previously, although this is the latest generation that comes included on the 3.0 Moto wheels. And as you can see, it's flashing right here. 
Now the TyreWiz works as part of the Access ecosystem, but it also works with any ANT Plus or Bluetooth device, and you can read what it does on your smartphone or on some devices. And the cool thing about this is it monitors exactly what's going on with your tires underneath you as you ride, and it can make recommendations on what you need to do to get the best and optimum tire pressure for your body weight, the conditions that you're riding in, and all that sort of stuff. And it can do this down to a 2% difference, and it's accurate down to 0 PSI as well. So it's a very, very accurate system. I love the way the tire wheels integrates into the wheels, but also into the access ecosystem, so it can communicate with all the other parts of the bike to build up a profile of how you ride your bike and what you need to get out of your bike with regards to setup to get the most from it. It's a really, really cool system. Uh, if you're concerned about weight, then you weigh around 10 grams, so there's really no reason to remove them from the bike and remove them from the rims. If you want these as a standalone product, they retail for around $200 a set. Obviously, they come as part of the 30 Moto wheels. They're powered by a CR1632 battery, which gives about 300 hours power time on them, so plenty for you to not worry about. Now, a few more details you might want to know about the wheels. The rims are rated to accept up to 65 PSI. That's about 4.48 bar. Now 29 inch wheels, they weigh in at 1,910 grams and 27 and a half weigh in at 1,825. Now complete pricing for the wheels in both 27 and a half and 29 inch, they retail for 1,999 US dollars, that's 2,099 euros or 1,875 pounds and sterling. And rim pricing is 700 US dollars or 750 euros or 675 in pounds sterling. And thankfully, you'll be pleased to hear they have a lifetime warranty on both the rims or the complete wheels. And that's a lifetime warranty when used in trail and enduro applications. And there we go, that is the exciting new Zip 30 Moto wheel set. Um, I think they're pretty cool, I'd love to know what you think. Let us know in the comments down below. And if you wanna see Blake thrashing them out in the wild with a moto as well, click down there to go to the GMBM video. And if you wanna see us talking about the new SRAM G2 brakes, click up there. As always, don't forget to give us a huge thumbs up if you love what we're doing here at GMBM Tech. If you've got any suggestions, let us know that as well. And don't forget to click, share and subscribe. Cheers guys.